So I'm motivated by what I think is the biggest problem in the world. It's not global warming, it's not war. Really what it is is how can we organize among ourselves to make good decisions and carry them out? We could cure global warming tomorrow if we could all just decide what to do and get about doing it. And, and the impossibility of that makes us not even consider that as an option. But that, to me, is actually the core problem, is that we don't know how to manage ourselves. We don't know how to integrate our ideas, our opinions, our views, to make decisions and carry them through. If we knew how to do that, we could transform things in ways that are really hard to imagine. To do that, though, we need to understand a lot more about ourselves and about our species and about how we work together. We need what I call social physics. You know, in the area of psychology and management and things, we're back in the days of alchemy. We know some things about it. You guys, many of you are experts from having learned a lot of stuff, but there really aren't any sort of scientific bones there. That, however, is the biggest thing I think that's happened in the last several years. For the first time, we have big data, and big data is mostly about human behavior. Where do people go? What do they do? What do they buy? And as a consequence, you can make these observatories of humans where you can really, for the first time, understand in a quantitative, predictive way. You can write down equations that predict what people will do. That's the huge change. So I've been running the big data conversation at Davos. That's the focus of the conversation. I run the big data conversation in other places. It's about the fact that you can now understand customers, employees, how we organize in a quantitative, predictive way for the first time. Management science could actually be science. Who knew, right? <laughs>